Good day, Microsoft Flight Simmers. We're here at Daytona Beach International in Florida, and we are going to take a look at how to open the doors on this de Havilland aircraft. It's a Beaver, and first thing I'm going to do is start the thing up. And I'm going to use the Microsoft checklist. And if you go into settings, uh, you'll get a rather extensive checklist for this particular aircraft and I've got uh, just for because this is a demo just on how to open the doors I've got uh, automatic completion of your checklist set up in my uh, options so I'm just going to auto complete the page and if you want to see what's going on all you got to do is click on uh, one of these little I Icon. So that, that page is uh, being completed now automatically. So this only takes a few seconds. The page is complete. And like I said, if you want to look at where any of this stuff is, you, you just click on that little eye there and it'll take you there. So let's go to um, the second uh, page. So that's before starting engine, and we'll just auto complete that as well to save time. And that's done. And now we will go to normal engine start and we'll auto complete that. So you can see some of the things being completed here. I'm going to look outside real quick. Color is going. Okay, so that page is complete. So I'm just going to do engine warm up very quickly. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you how uh, you can get these doors in the front to shut. You have to, you know, have the uh, aircraft up and running so you can start the taxi. So if you find any of this stuff gets hung up, you can auto-complete and then force finish. But uh, this is moving along pretty good here. Minimum 40 degrees Celsius. Propeller lever. Decrease RPM. Propeller lever. Alrighty, so now um, there's the uh, engine ground tests. I'm going to auto complete that. Still get the parking brake on, so it's not going anywhere. But I want to get to this taxiing stage here. And it's interesting to see how this checklist does work. Okay, so we're getting real close there, and we're up, magnetos, throttle, and I just wanted to show you something on this startup. So it's ready to taxi. Get the RPMs just right. It's ready to taxi, and this is what you would do for taxi. But what I noticed in the checklist is they did not turn on the radios. Over there you can see the Garmin G530 and um, let's have a look over there. Let's give you a look at this. Yeah, it's the 530 and the 430. So we're just going to go back again and uh, throw on the, the radios. So you're going to have to turn this on. It seems to be completed in the checklist. 
So this will get your autopilot system all up and running. And then the alternator wasn't on either. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to go for it. We're going to look at the doors now and a few other little things. So, if I... Uh, Mass Air 616 cleared to Orlando Airport as filed. Take off runway 25 right climb and maintain 4,000 feet. Here. Departure on one tree for decimal 0 squawk 0, zero two five. You can see that there's a door handle here. So if I click on that, the door will open for it. And then, if I go to the other side, the door will also open. Now at the back, we can uh, move into the screen. I'm going to do a, a little something here. I'm going to set this to cargo on this little pad. You can turn that on and off, by the way. So if I do cargo, now the uh, passenger configuration isn't there. But if I click on these doors, I can get them to open. So let's take a look outside. So we've got our doors open now. All right, so we can get our passengers in, our pilot and co-pilot in. So now let's go back inside the aircraft. And let's zoom in on this. And you see where it says toggle or right front door. Now it closes. And let's take a look at the rear. And if I uh, toggle here, you heard that close. And uh, now we can do the same for the left front. And the left front is closed now. And likewise for the left rear. So we've got our doors closed. Now one thing I have found is if you uh, don't do that, you can just um, start to taxi and the doors will close. As soon as you start taxiing, rolling forward, the doors will close. Um, now here's something interesting is that once I've done that and used that pad that's provided there to toggle the doors I can still hit them and they'll open and close so left front let's go to this side again and hit that and it'll open and once again back here left front so you can hear it close there so that's how you open and close the doors on this aircraft now I'm just going to show you a few other little things with this pad that's provided here you can uh, change the uh, spinner outside to take a look at it right now I'll get you around here so you can see it see it's a chrome finish so there's uh, some little options they give you here we look at it now it's a matte finish the other thing that's interesting is uh, you can put your chocks down see they're there that's kind of a neat little feature to have and let's go back inside and you can uh, put your tie downs in place so to stabilize the aircraft if there's winds expected etc so that's pretty cool uh, let's uh, I'll take them off again and you can see they're gone so um, you can change uh, from GPS you can change like here there's some settings you can go analog if you don't want to have the GPS Garmin system uh, so it, it's however you want to do it um, I like the GPS system for navigating and flying because you can 
set your nav frequencies, etc. So basically that is it and of course um, you can have your uh, kind of interesting co-pilot, you can have him show up. So there you go. You got your co-pilot showing up and whoever you selected as your avatar for that. Uh, let's take a look at your uh, cabin seating right there. I had it set on cargo. If I put it back to passenger, um, you can now uh, have your passenger seating configuration. And there's your cargo space for your luggage behind uh, these uh, tie downs here. So let's go back and back off and we're ready to roll. So that basically is how you would do it. Um, I think I mentioned that uh, if the store is open and you start to taxi, I'll take off the parking brake, which is uh, down here somewhere. It's a little hard to find with that yoke in the way. And you can turn the parking brake on and off. There it is right there. Just using control delete on your keyboard, but do that way. Do it that way. So let's go back to our view out the front. And uh, we're rolling and the doors should close. There Daytona they go. Ground Nesser 616 with Quebec ready to taxi IFR. So if you're wondering about the doors on this aircraft, uh, I hope that was helpful. I just want to mention, just brake very carefully with this aircraft because it's a tail dragger and it will nose plant into the taxiway or runway, especially on landing. So, uh, thank you very much for just joining me on this short little demo. I hope it was helpful for anyone that was interested in how to do that. And I'll catch you next time, Flight Simmers. Give me a thumbs up like or uh, subscribe be much appreciated catch you next time flight simmers